Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into Voice Notes AI because it's been a while since I've talked about this application and it has changed a lot since then. Uh, a lot of new features and just in general a lot of things happening. So if you're new to the channel, uh, Voice Notes AI is a voice note uh, application so you can just talk out your notes. It is actually possible to write your notes now as well which I I will get into a little uh, later but it feels more and more like an all-in-one note-taking app. There is a podcasting feature uh, here as well uh, and I will dive into all of these things but I just wanted to start off with saying that I have actually this was around a year ago I think maybe even a little longer than that I purchased the lifetime plan of this application so I actually have the lifetime plan uh, and I have been using it a lot mostly for journaling uh, that is why I have a dummy account right now because a lot of the things I have inside of my uh, voice notes is really really private uh, and it isn't just about me uh, but uh, anyways let's now just jump into the application and actually start off with the pricing so as I said I have the lifetime plan that isn't available any longer um, we have two plans here $12.99 per month for the monthly plan or $79.99 per year that gives you unlimited notes and meetings as well so you can use this in your meetings you can use this in digital meetings as well as uh, physical meetings I haven't tested it out for applications like zoom slack can you do uh, voice uh, or video chats on slack I think you can but anyways uh, zoom teams uh, things like that google meet I haven't tested it out for uh, those use cases I mainly use um Microsoft Teams and we use Copilot at work so I haven't gotten to test this out. I have tested it out in physical meetings and I think it does a good job. Uh, it also gives you just a quick summary of the meeting as well. Um, so you can use it in your uh, meetings. It is designed for personal and professional use, works well on mobile, desktop and watch. I can confirm that it does. Uh, you also uh, join a community of 2000 plus 200,000 plus note takers there is also a team plan um so you can add unlimited user there is no like per user pricing uh, i find that really interesting i normally don't cover team plans but this is really interesting you can have up to 10,000 minutes with add-ons available um so that is the pricing plans. I think this $12.99 feels a little expensive, but it also is getting better since this is turning out to be like your note-taking app and not just a voice note uh, application. I think this is more reasonable, but uh, the uh, the uh, yearly pricing feels like a no-brainer this is actually quite cheap I feel like for what you are getting because inside of here you have uh, AI uh, chat or you can ask your AI I can also press this to get my AI uh, and here you can ask anything about your notes so just like you would with uh, things like chat GPT Claude uh, this actually uses uh, GPT uh, and um, you can just ask questions um, just like you would in any other uh, AI chat interface. When it comes to the availability of this application, there is a watch, uh, Apple Watch application. There is a Wear OS, which is the Android uh, version uh, for watches. There is uh, desktop applications, Mac and Windows. There is also um, Android and uh, iOS uh, applications as well and there is the web version we are currently on. I've only used the web version, the iOS app and the watch OS application. Uh, that's the ones I've been using. Uh, inside of here it is quite simple so I can press this plus to add a text note. I can also add, um, add like images here as well. Uh, so this saves the note gives it a title, I can uh, turn this into something, so I can press create, summary, meeting report, to-do list, 
clean up email. So what I've done a couple of times is that uh, when I've had longer like emails uh, or even like half-baked ideas for blog posts, I've just talked uh, them out in this application uh, and I've uh, then uh, used whatever I whatever I've like talked out to uh, get a rough draft of uh, a blog post or uh, an email. As you might have already know, I am not the biggest fan of AI writing uh, tools, uh, so I haven't actually used any of them apart from getting a rough draft, but I think the application does a good job. But as I said, this is a voice notes application, which means that you can talk out your notes as I am doing right now. And whenever you're done, you just press this done button and it actually uploads it, transcribes it and gives it a title. It takes a couple of seconds uh, and you can see that it actually does a good job right here. You can also go back and listen to whatever uh, note uh, you have. Taken. There is a calendar view where you can view your highlights from each day. Uh, this is great if you take a lot of notes. Um, and I can also organize notes here as well. So I can have uh, sub notes. So I can have a note live underneath another note. I can also download the note here as well. Um, so there are quite a few things you can do. As you can see right here, it downloads the note as uh, a voice recording which I can then go back and listen to. You can see that this is an mp3 file. Um, if I open this up there is a WhatsApp integration. I have never used it um, but for some people that might be uh, interesting. There is one other thing as well which is pages which is a little bit uh, a little bit like having your own uh, podcast. I actually have this uh, in uh, my pro plan and I will link my page down below so you can actually look at how the page looks like. I haven't been able to publish any notes yet but I will. This is also a part of the pro plan and they are uh, planning to connect this to Spotify so you can actually just launch your podcast from within this application which is super interesting. You can choose to summarize uh, long recordings. You can also uh, get dark mode if you want and you can set this to detect language. There are many languages uh, to choose from. Uh, I have always had it as detect language and I've tested it in Norwegian. I've not tested it in, in Persian yet so that will be something I will uh, test out. So it works with multiple different languages which I think is super interesting. Then I can chat with my notes. I can search for them using AI. I can uh, open this up and like have a conversation based on my notes which are abilities we have seen previously in different note-taking applications. Uh, there are um, quite a few features with this application but I think the main ones is that like take as many notes as possible. That is the philosophy behind an application like this. And that was why I actually got into it in the first place. There was multiple different voice notes applications, but I, first of all, I really like the design uh, and I am like, I feel super lucky that I was able to purchase the lifetime plan because I think this application is really, really good. Um, I would probably not pay for a voice note application um, if I didn't have the like uh, lifetime plan and that is just a personal thing. I don't take a lot of voice notes. I work in an open environment where everyone can actually hear what I'm saying uh, which makes it a little awkward. I don't uh, I, I take the bus everywhere I go so I don't have a car where I'm like able to talk out my notes. Uh, the main use case for this has been like when I'm going to sleep and I put my phone away in a different room and I have this great idea I can just open up my Apple Watch, uh, go into the application and talk out my notes. I have had issues with it previously but the uh, watch application feels uh, much better. Uh, now I haven't had any issues uh, recently. So um, 
mainly for things like that. I've been using voice notes. Uh, I have, I really like the philosophy, as I said, that uh, they want you to take as many notes as possible. And I think that is really important with this AI chat application thing uh, that you're able to, like, the idea is that the more notes you have, the better the AI gets. And I think uh, that is why uh, this philosophy of take as many notes as possible is something I really do like. But that actually covers it for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.